That takes Aaron up to level 15. He's also getting there as well. Oh, shoot. Well, that's fine. That tiger's trying to push his way through. That's for sure. It's not gonna work, though. As long as... Oh, shoot. Thank you, Zahark. Thank you for coming through with that. That was good. The Hark actually came through with a critical hit, so... Alright. Oh, shoot. Wow, they... They really are gonna try to push their way through. Jeez. Calm down, you guys. What did I ever do to you? Aside from everything. Okay, let's move you guys back. I think I'm going to go ahead and let Nolan promote the natural way, because... I mean, yeah, he might as well. He's this close, and he's probably going to promote that way anyway this, in this chapter. Now I need to start thinking about uh, moving back, though, because I think uh, in a little bit it's going to get to that point where that's what we have to do, basically. But I am fine with that. We're definitely at a good position to uh, retreat. I don't like retreating, but it's what we're going to have to do here. Any enemies down here? Just that guy. I really want to destroy this guy. This guy is just kind of wandering around until his beast meter gets full again. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. That sounds like a good idea to me, or looks like a good idea to me. Okay, yeah, let's let's do it. Take Nolan up to level 20. One more level until he promotes into. We actually haven't seen the uh, Warrior third tier class yet. That's one of the ones we haven't seen. Okay, so here where all the uh, units are going to come into play. So yeah, now we need to start retreating now. I know, I hate the idea of retreating as much as you guys do, but... We're, not, we're never safe against the Grail Mercenaries. That's kind of a known fact. Because the Grail Mercenaries are badasses. They should just change their names to the Badass Mercenaries, because that's pretty much what they are. Okay, so let's retreat. It's like that uh, song from uh, Monty Python's Spamalot. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Which I have seen uh, Monty Python spam a lot live twice. I saw the original uh, performance when they first released it back in 2004? I think it was 2004. It was the same year that the uh, Nintendo DS released. And then I also saw it this past year when it came to my college too, so... I am no stranger to the power of Spamalot. Okay, so now it basically becomes a waiting game. 
You can actually have a little fun and actually fight some of the Grail mercenaries by ledge combat, but uh, keep in mind that they are more powerful than you, so sometimes they can actually hit you even when you're on a ledge, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, now uh, Nyla and Raphael are going to make their way towards this way as well. Um, I would really love to kill you, but I'm kind of scared to do that. Because Ike's going to start moving too, that's another thing you want to keep in mind. Uh, Ike is also going to move, and you do not want to get on the bad side of Ike, so to speak. Also keep in mind that in this army right here we have a marksman with the Deadeye skill and we also have a Valkyrie as well. So uh, yeah, it is going to be essential that we run away from these guys in particular. But that's perfectly fine with me. Uh, we can fight some of these guys though. We can kind of take the time to get some nice damage in with our some of our other units. but. We do want to make, make sure that we have everything under control, so to speak. I'm going to go ahead and move you right here. Ah. I just realized you were there. Well, we have a wind edge. It'll be fine. Okay. Let's also use the physics staff on Aaron. And I think we're good. So yeah, let's uh, do one more turn. We may be able to get no one to promote, but I'm not really sure. I think we've kind of missed our chance. But he'll definitely promote in the next time we use the Dawn Brigade, so he is definitely not far from promoting. Just not going to be able to in this chapter. Okay, why are you attacking the yellow units? I don't understand why you would do that. Okay, here's what we're gonna do now. To prevent any deadly mistakes, We're going to make sure that we uh, cover all of these units. And we're going to call this range right here the range of death. So if you're in this range, get the hell out of that range because you're going to die. That's as a blunt as I'm going to make it. That's all I'm going to say about it. I am going to put you right here though, and thankfully... We can actually do this in a way where we won't fail this, regardless. I am kind of scared about Nolan being right here, but I think he should be fine. As long as he's out of range, he's definitely going to be okay, so... I'm just going to put him right here, just to be safe. Let's go ahead and do a, some more healing. Uh, who should I heal? I'll heal Volug. For no particular reason. Actually, as long as this, uh... Ballista's safe... I can target one of these guys. <laughs> actually, wait. Yeah, I can't do that now, because that would have actually killed... Well, I guess I could put him right there. Uh, I, I want to have some fun, which could be the death of me if I try to. Okay, well, let me do this first before I do that. I'll battle save, just in case. Because this could go wrongly if I play my cards wrong. Basically, this is what I want to do. I want to attack... I'll attack Boyd. Dang it! 
Oh, Leo, why do you suck so much? Actually, I think Soth will be fine. Plus, I can give him a little more experience, too. Okay, well, that's good. Here we go. Here we go. That was actually close. He actually could have hit the dust right there if I wasn't careful. Yeah, here come the mercenaries. And that's the end of that chapter. Uh-oh, a big problem. like the sound of this. A dragon. And Alencia. Wow, that was intense. Hey, it's Kurth. Oh, okay. I, I get it now. That Kurth guy we met at the very beginning of the game was actually Kurth Naga. Which means Kurth Naga is also Almeida's sis. Uh, no, no, Kurth Naga is Almeida's brother. Almeida is his sister, okay. Okay, so what exactly is going on here? And that would be my phone.
<laughs> I get it. That's the name of the actual game series. Fire Emblem. That's the thing about the Fire Emblem series. In every single game, it's given a different, like, uh... It's a different item, basically. In this game, the Fire Emblem is obviously the medallion. In another game... Like, it's a key to something. I think even in one game, it's actually a weapon. But, like, I don't know all the specifics. So yeah, the reason uh, Lincia is here is she's here to look for Count Bastion. So Joffrey's looking over Crimea right now. And now they're going to join us as well. And yeah, that's about it for that chapter. So uh, this has been Slim Kirby. It's been Let's Play Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. I will see you guys next time for the end game of Part 3. After that, we'll just have Part 4. And after Part 4, we're finished with the game. So... The end is definitely in sight, but we do have quite a ways to get there. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.